guys good day everyone and another day and another tutorial so if you're new to my channel welcome and if you're uh, existing subscriber welcome back and thank you very much guys for your support and today it's another tutorial as you can see this is a pattern that um, I am working on at the moment and what I'm going to do is this one is one piece what I'm going to do is create um, like a granny square with the flower in the middle okay so I will adjust and I'm going to show you guys it is a square with the flower in the middle okay so without further ado um let's get into our tutorial and the yarn that i'm going to use today is this uh, four ply cotton yarn so and then the color of this is color 8049433 okay so so that's the color over there and this is uh it's orange color okay so whatever yarn you decided to use guys that is totally okay it will just came out different okay so with this one you can use acrylic or whatever you prefer um, the size will be just different. This one is four ply. So if you're using a different brand and it's four ply, um, it will be the same as long as the thickness is the same. Okay. And then I'm going to use my three. You can't see, but this is a three millimeter hook. Okay. So this is... Um, you will be needing your um, scissors and I don't think we need a stitch marker for this but if you need your stitch marker to just you know uh, put markers in your work that's okay um, you know you need your um, machine tape if you wanted to so you can you can measure uh, with this one here this measures as 24 centimeter okay but as i said i am going to um adjust this adjust this to fit my uh my square okay so to wave in your ends you will be needing your um yarn needle and i have lots of stress markers here if i needed to okay so let's get started okay guys so we're going to start with our um tutorial so to start with is we're going to create our slip knot and we are going to chain 57 one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve okay so i'm going to continue this guys and i'll come back when i do have my 57 chain okay guys so i do have my chains now uh to start with this okay so this is our last uh chain here and I just chain uh, just a random chains until this is like more than 60 I think and then from here we are going to chain or double crochet into the fourth chain so one two three into the fourth and into the back okay and I'm going to do a double crochet okay so that's two double crochet there that is our two double crochet and i'm going to do 57 in total 
57 double crochet in total okay so yarn over insert and I'm doing it to the back loop or the back bump okay so I'm doing uh, double crochet there so I will complete this guys as this is uh, takes a while okay so you're just going to put one double crochet in every chain across just like that okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight and we are going to complete 57 and then when you complete your 57 and then i'll come back and i'm going to show you what to do next okay guys so what we're going to do here is we we have to have 58 double crochet okay and i have 58 double crochet here so from here we're going to chain three and then turn our work we're going to skip this first one as that is our chain three and the next space we're going to do our double crochet And the next is double crochet chain two skip two and the next three double crochet in the next three spaces chain two skip two and three double crochet in the next three spaces okay so this is how it looks like so i'm just going to continue this so chain two skip two and three double crochet in the next three spaces until we get to the end okay so this is how it looks like guys so i'm going to continue this until to the end and i'll come back okay guys so this is how it looks like until finishing the second row so now we're going into our third row which is five, chain five so we have one two three four five okay and then we're going to skip this and we are going to work in this part okay so double crochet Three double crochet in this space chain two and skip this and double crochet into the next okay so three double crochet into the space and then chain two and here we're going to do uh, three double crochet and chain two and here we're going to skip and three double crochet in the chain space okay so this is how it looks like at the moment so we have one two three four okay and then we're going to skip two and we're going to add double crochet 
double crochet into the space like that double crochet here and so we have one two three four there and then we're going to start okay guys so once we have one two three four okay so the next is chain two and into this space we're going to put one double crochet into the three double crochet we're going to put three double crochet to have one two three four and then into this space here we're going to put two double crochet so six and into this space here and into the space into the double crochet on top of the three double crochet we're going to put one double crochet in each chain and into this space we're going to put one Okay, so this is how it looks like at the moment. Okay, so we have chain here and then one, two, three, four. So we have four three double cluster three double crochet cluster and then we chain two and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we are going back into the normal the cluster so chain two and into this space three double crochet cluster chain two and three double crochet chain two and three double crochet chain two and three double crochet chain two and into the last stitch into the third one two into the third chain we're going to insert our hook and pull up and we're going to complete our one double crochet so this is how it looks like okay so the next row is we're going to chain three and then into this space we're going to add two more double crochet and chain two into the next space three double crochet into the next space so chain two and three double crochet So we have one, so one, two, three. Okay, so next one is three double crochet. Okay, so now when we are here, 
again so we are going to take this side here so we have 10 and then from here we have 14 double crochet okay so chain two into the next space we're going to put two double crochet and on top of 10 double crochet we're going to continue and placing one double crochet on top of every stitch And into this last space here we're going to add two more so as you can see in this space and in this space okay then now we are going to continue one two three and four the same as one two three four double crochet three double crochet cluster we have one two three four spaces we have to fill it up one two and three double crochet chain two three double crochet And chain two, three double crochet. Okay, chain two, and this is our last. So, two double crochet in this space. Okay, and then into one, into the third chain, we're going to complete the three. So this is now it's forming our flower okay so next is we're going to chain three no chain five we're going to chain five and into the space we're going to do our three double crochet cluster so one two and three chain two and do the three double crochet cluster and one two and placing one two and three double crochet okay so this row so we have one two three okay and then the next is we're going to chain two and we're not going to work here but we're going to work into the last stitch of the cluster on top of the double crochet we're going to do one double crochet and then chain two and on top of this 14 chain we're going to do another 14 double crochet on top of it So just placing one double crochet in each chain sorry guys it's um, a bit noisy in daytime we have dog next doors and their dog is like huge and they're very loud
okay so this is how it looks like and now we're going to do the same in the other side here we chain two and into the first so in this side we need we did on the last double crochet in this side we're going to do in the first double crochet so in the top of first double crochet we're going to place one double crochet chain two and we are going to continue into working into the space So three and three double crochet and then chain two into the next space three double crochet and chain two and three double crochet chain two and now we're going to one two on the third chain which is this is our um, chain here so on the third chain we're going to do our double crochet okay so this finishes our fifth row so one two three four five okay so this is our row five and now we're going to work on our row six so row six is chain three and uh, turn your work and from here we're going to work two double crochet into the space chain two into the next space two double crochet three double crochet sorry uh, only in the first chain here or the first space because we have uh, three chains there count as double crochet and then we only put two double crochet but then here is we're going to work three double crochet okay so we have one two chain two and to the next three double crochet okay okay so from here we have one two three and then now into the next space into this space into this space we're going to work so chain two into the next we're going to work our three double crochet And on top of this double crochet we're going to place one double crochet and into this space here another three double crochet for a total of seven okay so three and then the top of double crochet we add we place one double crochet and then three so we have seven double crochet and then we're going to chain two and we're going to skip two so one two the double crochet here we're going to skip that one two into the third we're placing four double crochet in the next four chains or stitches
Okay, then we chain two and then we skip two and then and then next is we're going to do another four double crochet in the next four stitches okay so we skip two here and then we double crochet in the next four stitches we chain two we skip two and then four double crochet in the next four stitches and then now we're going to skip two here and then we're going to chain two and then we are going to work in these two area with three double crochet in the first space and then on top of one double crochet is we're going to place one double crochet and into the next is three double crochet okay so we have this one here and this one here and we have four in it now we're going to work three okay so we have three spaces left and we're going to work chain two two and three chain two one two three chain two and we're going to work two double crochet in the space one two and then we're going to count one two and to the third chain we're going to work one double crochet to finish our row okay so now we're going to work into the next row so which is our one two three four five six our seventh row so chain three then now we chain five we have to skip two space here so chain three and then two spaces and then we're going to work our cluster three double crochet chain two and three double crochet Okay, so after we have two cluster, now we're going to chain two and we're going to work in this space. We're going to place two double crochet into this space and on top of this double crochet, we're going to place double crochet on top of it okay so we have one more left okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine Okay, in this space here, we're going to place two double crochet. And on top of this, we're going to place another double crochet.
Okay, so a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, so from here we're going to chain 2. And in this space we're going to place 1 double crochet. And then chain 2. And then we skip this one two three and then we're going to start from the top of the fourth double crochet and into the space two double crochet and on top of double crochet we're going to place one double crochet each And we're going to have a total of 12. Okay, so this space we're going to place two double crochet. Okay, then we are going to continue. We're going to place two double crochet cluster, so chain two, and into the next space, three double crochet cluster. Chain two, and three more double crochet. chain two and into the third so one to the third chain we're going to do our double crochet to complete the row okay so this is how it looks like at the moment so now we're going into the next row so which is our one two three four five six seven row okay so we're going to chain three and because this is a space we're going to place two double crochet chain two three double crochet chain two and here we're going to place one double crochet into the top of the third double crochet and chain two and we're going to do double crochet on top of this okay So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-twenty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty
we're going to chain three uh, five sorry we're going to chain five and we're going to single crochet into the space close to the middle just like that and then we're going to single crochet into on top of the double crochet and into the space we're going to single crochet as well so for a total of three single crochet so one in this side on top of double crochet and one into the other side and now we're going to chain five one two three four five and we skip three one two three into the fourth we're going to place one double crochet into the next nine stitches Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to chain two and into the first double crochet on top of it, we're going to place one double crochet, chain two, and into the space we're going to do our cluster. chain two and two double crochet in the space and one two on the third we're going to place one double crochet so this is how it looks like at the moment okay so moving into the next row chain five one two three four five okay turn your board and three double crochet cluster into the space and chain two three double crochet cluster into the space chain two and we skip this and on top of this we're going to place a double crochet on top of our double crochet in our previous row That's for a total of nine there. Nine double crochet on top of it. And one more. Okay. Then we are going to place double crochet into this space okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine we need to have a total of three double crochet into this space a total of 12 double crochet
then we're going to chain two and into the middle into the middle single crochet we're going to place a double crochet and chain two we're going to start with our three double crochet into the space one two three okay you can move a little bit closer and we are going to continue placing one double crochet and the next nine double crochet from the previous row Okay, so what we did here is we copy in this side and now in this side we're going to copy here as well. Okay, so chain two and skip this chain here into the next is we're going to place our three double crochet cluster. Chain two and Three double crochet cluster, chain two, and on top of the third chain, we're going to place our double crochet. So this is we finish our row nine okay and then now we are going to work into the next step or the next row okay so we are going to start with chaining three and placing two more double crochet in the space chain two to the next three double crochet which our cluster into the next chain two and work three double crochet cluster Then we're going to chain two and we're going to skip two and we are going to work our double crochet four five Seven. Okay, so we have that. And now we're going to chain two and we skip two into the last the top of last double crochet this we're going to double crochet and into the space we're going to put three double crochet we chain two and into the next space three double crochet and 
and on top of the first double crochet then chain two we skip two and we're going to do our double crochet a total of seven double crochet so one two three four five six seven so we're going to copy this into the other side seven okay chain two and then we skip these two and into the space we're going to work our cluster chain two another cluster chain two and two double crochet into the space and one double crochet on the third chain to complete this as you can see this is now forming okay so now we're going to work into our next row chain three no chain five sorry chain five and then skip skip this and then work three double crochet into the chain space chain two in the next chain space work your cluster which is the three single crochet add uh, three double crochet okay so we have two chain two and here we're going to work three double crochet because we have seven here so we're going to chain two we skip one two three into the middle we double crochet we chain two and into the space we work double crochet so two double crochet and then on top of the double crochet we're going to work double crochet so in this space we put we place two double crochet and then we have four double crochet and into the space we're going to place two double crochet and continue working on top of the double crochet from the previous row placing one double crochet and in this row in this space we are going to place two double crochet okay so for a total of two four six eight ten twelve fourteen okay so 14 double crochet and then from here we're going to 
chain two we skip three into the middle we double crochet chain two and into the space we work our cluster chain two another cluster chain two and another cluster chain two and we double crochet on top of the the third chain of our chain from the previous row okay so this is how it looks like now Okay, so we're going to work into the next row. So chain three. And then in the next space, or the space next to our chain three, we're going to work two double crochet, chain two, cluster, Chain two, a cluster, chain two, cluster, chain two, Okay, so with our chain two, now we're going to skip this space here and we're going to work into the top of this 14 double crochet from the previous row. We're going to work a double crochet. So this is how it looks like. And now we're going to do the same. So we're going to make four cluster. Okay, so chain two. We're going to skip this and work into the next space for our cluster. chain two, another cluster, chain two, another cluster, chain two, and two double crochet into the space. And in the third chain, we're going to place one double crochet. Okay, so to finish our row. So now it is is it, it is building our flower. Okay, so now we're going to work on the next row, which is. chain five so 
So this is the last row of our motif. Okay, so you skip this and into the next, we're going to work our cluster. Chain two, another cluster into the space. Chain two, under the cluster. Chain two, and another cluster. Chain two, and then we skip two, and we're going to make a seven double crochet. Why is it seven? Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, it's ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so ten. Ten double crochet. So we skip two because we have 14 so we're only doing 10 of those we skip two into this side and then we skip two into that side we skip two from the beginning and then we skip two in the end i'm so sorry guys it is very very noisy here It is a beautiful day to here today. That's why people are mowing. Okay, so then we chain two and we're going to do our cluster in the space. Chain two, next cluster. Chain two, next cluster. Chain two, and the last cluster. Chain two, and on the third chain, one, two, three, we're going to place one double crochet. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So now we are going to do this row, okay, and to finish. Okay, so chain three, and in the first, we're placing two double crochet into the space. Chain two into the space work your cluster chain two work your cluster chain two i'm so sorry guys if it is very noisy, chain two. And another cluster. So we have one, two, three, four, five cluster. And then now we're going to work here. So chain two, we're going to skip two and three double crochet in the next three chain chain two skip two and three double crochet
we skip we chain two and then we skip this and then into the mix is we're going to do our so the same as what we did here we're just going to do the same here chain two and then back to working a cluster chain two and then another cluster chain two and two double crochet into the space and into the third one to the third we're going to work our double crochet okay so this is how it looks like at the moment and then we just have to finish this with our double crochet so chain three and chain and uh, turn your work into the next double crochet double crochet into the space into the space two double crochet and on top of double crochet we're going to place hmm. placing three double crochet into the space to double crochet and on top of double crochet we're going to place a double crochet into the space two doubles and on top of three double crochet is three doubles okay so this is how it looks like so we started from double crochet and then we end up with double crochet so i'm just going to continue this guys it's just double crochet until to the end and i'll come back and this is our project and i'm going to show you guys how it looks like so just continue that to double crochet into the space okay usually we work with three double crochet but we're not doing the cluster so we are not going to put three double crochet because we only have two chains there so we're doing only two place to double crochet so we can have our right chains and on the end okay guys so thank you very much guys for watching and if you have any questions please leave a comment below and if you like this video guys please um i need your support please um hit that give it give it a thumbs up and if you new to my channel uh, please do hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time i create a new video okay so your support guys is very much appreciated so i can continue you know create this tutorial and uh, yeah hopefully guys you like this this is very pretty i'm thinking of um creating um, something 
maybe a top using this um, pattern okay so we are into our last stitch and we are done okay so okay so this is how it looks like so this is our so you can you can add more here if you want guys okay so if you want this a little bit you know like a triangle on a square perfect square you can um do that so this one is the 23 23 in the sides and the length is 15 and a half maybe 16 maybe 16 yeah it is 16 okay because it's just at the moment it is into the middle here into the middle but when you do in the side it is 16 16 so here is a little bit because it's a bit scrunched into the middle okay so thank you very much guys so this concludes our tutorial so if you have any questions guys please leave a comment below and i will uh, do my best to um answer all your questions so this this motif here is the same as that one and then this side here is the same as this one so you copy here you copy there what you done here you copy into the other side okay so you can create this pattern here into uh, like you go up or you go on the side okay so up and up okay or side to side you can do that as well okay thank you very much guys for watching until the end hopefully you like this video guys and i will see you in the next video thanks guys bye